the day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, September 11, 2022. And giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Kansas City Chiefs vs Arizona Cardinals. The Kansas City Chiefs are expected to be a contender this season after losing to the Bengals in the AFC Championship last year. The Chiefs had an 8-game winning streak at one point last season and have plenty of talent to win the division again. Their success could depend if they will receive enough production to replace the void left by star WR Tyreek Hill, who departed for Miami. The Chiefs' running game is strong. Clyde Edwards-Hulaire only played in 10 games due to injury and finished with 517 rushing yards on 4.3 yards per carry. They lost Daryl Williams but acquired Jarek McKinnon, who had 319 yards with the 49ers. Tyreek Hill is gone and management signed Juju Smith-Schuster and Marquez Valdez-Scantling, giving Mahomes proven weapons. Smith-Schuster had big seasons in Pittsburgh but battled injuries. If he can stay healthy, 1,000-plus receiving yards is a possibility. The Chiefs' offense could regress slightly but is still one of the best in the NFL. The Arizona Cardinals could have an interesting season. This is a team that could only win 7 or 8 games, but they also have the potential to reach 10 wins. Arizona was a dominant 10-2 at one point last season and lost 4 out of their last 5 games, including a quick exit in the playoffs. The talent is there, but it's a challenging division. Unfortunately, the squad is without their top WR in DeAndre Hopkins. The star WR is suspended for the 10 games. They brought in Marquise Brown who will be targeted plenty in this game. The former Raven posted a career-best 1,008 receiving yards last year. The Arizona offense ranked in the top 10 in many offensive categories in 2021. I expect the same for the passing game, but the running game probably won't be as effective, the Chiefs are a good team, but it could take some time for Mahomes to familiarize himself with the Chiefs' new receivers in Juju Smith-Schuster and Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Remember, WR Tyreek Hill is now in Miami. Arizona is a good team that is capable of not only covering, but winning this game. This is a team that was 10-2 after 12 games last season. Furthermore, the Chiefs rely on the passing game, and for good reason. Mahomes will produce, but the Cardinals have a strong pass defense. They limited opponents to 214.4 passing yards per game in 2022, good for 7th in the NFL. The Chiefs' defense can be solved. They ranked 27th against the pass and also lost key safety, Tyron Matthew. Kyler Murray led Arizona to an average of 251 passing yards per game. While Hawkins is suspended, they have Marquise Brown and AJ Green. Our team pick is. Arizona Cardinals plus 5.5 points. Kansas City returns to the football field after a shocking 2021 AFC Championship loss to the Cincinnati Bengals and an offseason that saw a lot of change. Patrick Mahomes is still that guy, but KC traded Tyreek Hill to a speedy Miami squad, lost Byron Pringle to the Chicago, and Demarcus Robinson to Baltimore. The Chiefs bring back all pro tight end Travis Kels, flashy speedster Mechel Hardman, and primary back Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who looks to stay healthy. Kansas City's offense is an attractive commodity for any free agent receiver and proved so when they signed Juju Smith-Schuster and Marquez Valdez-Scantling to help fill the void. Veteran RB Ronald Jones too joins the backfield, too. They also drafted second-round pick Sky Moore out of Western Michigan. Moore, a standout wide receiver for WMU, the rookie, adds the element of speed to complement Hardman and try to account for Hill's absence. Again, since 2018, the over is 42-34-0 in Kansas City's games. They score points, usually hovering just below 30 per game. The new Cardinal defense has a stout test in week one, and for every reason I can think of, they are very likely to fail. Our total pick is over 53.5 points. Tampa Bay Buccaneers vs Dallas Cowboys. In week one of the regular season Sunday night football will kick off with a matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers visiting the Dallas Cowboys for a scheduled kickoff time of 8.20 p.m. This game will be available on NBC. Tampa Bay finish off their season last year in the NFC Divisional Playoffs losing to the eventual Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams by the score of 30-27. 
Matthew Stafford had 366 yards and two touchdowns in the game, while Tom Brady had 329 yards one touchdown and one interception. Dallas will be led by quarterback Dak Prescott in this game, Prescott had 44-49 passing yards last season to go along with 37 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Prescott had a total QBR rating of 54.6. Ezekiel Elliott will be the starting running back again for the Dallas Cowboys this season having over 1,000 yards rushing and 10 touchdowns last season. Tom Brady will lead Tampa Bay in this matchup trying to get back to you, yet another Super Bowl. Brady had 53 16 yards passing last season to go along with a staggering 43 touchdowns and only 12 interceptions. Tom Brady had a total QBR rating of 68.1 and was first in overall touchdown passes. The Buccaneers enter the season with expectations of competing for the Super Bowl, and understandably so with Tom Brady as their quarterback. While Brady missed significant time in the preseason, one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game looks to lead the passing attack and defense altogether. The supporting cast for the Buccaneers also looks to build off a season where the offense scored 30.1 points per game highlighted by receivers Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and offsets in addition Julio Jones along with a reliable runs game carried by Leonard Fournette and rookie Ratchet White. The only question for the offense is the interior of the offensive line which has to replace guard Alex Kappa, who departed in free agency, and find an answer at center with Ryan Jensen being placed on injured reserve to start the season. The Dallas Cowboys are no stranger to disappointment. It seems every time Dallas is a favorite, they play down to the quality of their opponents. Tampa Bay however is simply a better team with a goat under center. With the addition of Julio Jones to take some of the coverage off of Mike Evans, we see Tampa Bay coming away with a victory at AT&T Stadium. Our team pick is. Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus 1.5 points. The Cowboys had the league's best scoring offense last season, scoring 31.2 points per game, but after the wild card loss, where they only scored 17 points, there were concerns about how the unit held up against playoff caliber defenses. The success of the offense once again starts with Dak Prescott who is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL and if healthy, can lead the best passing attack in the game. The question is if the Cowboys can protect Prescott, an understandable concern with left tackle Tyron Smith missing multiple months after being placed on injured reserve. The bright spots on the offense are the run game, carried by Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, and guard Zach Martin, who is one of the game's best offensive linemen. Aside from pass protection, the question for the offense is who will step up in the passing attack aside from third-year receiver C.D. Lamb, putting a lot of pressure on Michael Gallup and Kevon Turpin, who impressed in the preseason as a punt returner. This is a high total, but with both teams being carried by their offenses last season, expect this game to be a shootout led by Tom Brady and Dak Prescott. Our total pick is over 50.5 points.